Hello and welcome to Unsettled JD. Today is day three here at the Leatherback Trust Organization in Costa Rica. So today was a mix of excitement, um, tiredness, um, yeah, so the first thing in the morning, I had a morning walk. So I woke up at five o'clock in the morning and uh, Iona and Iona, yeah, uh, all it and Irene were supposed to leave. So they were on patrol the night and they weren't in this morning, which means they probably had a turtle. So basically I had to like get up, brush my hair, put on clothes really quickly. Um, we took them, the truck down to the beach um, because they were supposed to leave here at like 6 a.m. Um, to go get like the bus. Um, or something along the, or yeah, they're supposed to get like the 6 a.m. bus, but obviously that didn't happen because they had a turtle. So we uh, went down to the beach and we basically went and found them uh, right away and the turtle was still laying eggs. Um, yeah, so that was interesting because it, was, uh, it wasn't quite daylight out yet. Um, so I ended up counting the eggs. We kind of took turns because we're supposed to wear a mask and gloves. Um, so by the time I, when I went to go take over counting eggs, she was basically done. Um, yeah, so uh, um, Irene and Olet um, took the truck back to camp so they could either like nap and get ready. Um, yeah, and then we, yeah, so yeah, we finished her up. So we like, we, uh, we measured her carapace um, and we scanned her for any of like the tags, the chip or metal tag. And we walked down the end of the beach um, and then we, um, clean or clear off all of the um, tracks. Um, today um, I was doing excavations with Keeler as well and honey uh, so it was my first time. So basically um, whenever the eggs hatch two days later we go excavate the um, um, miss the nest. Uh, so the first nest we went was way past um, 14 and um, so the nest was actually underneath a branch. So we had a gazillion turtles which was amazing um, but kind of bad. So we basically put them in a bucket and um, so sand in the bottom, wet sand in the bottom in the bucket and then we cover it so that way it's still dark for them so they don't get all awake. And we had so many, There were, we counted 79 eggs, but we didn't count the turtles just simply because there was so many of them. And because there were so many of them, they wanted to release them at night. So I'll give you more of that later. We um, did another excavation um, for another green turtle. And we found one, one turtle, um, but she got stuck in roots as well. So her body was uh, a bit deformed. Um, she was still alive, um, but then um, later when we went to the next excavation, she wasn't, she was um, She was gone. So while we went to walk to the third excavation, uh, Kayla went and got a bigger pail um, for all the turtles. So then we uh, put all the turtles um, in the bigger bucket for them. Um, and then the um, third, so the second one we didn't find the nest, so we knew it was there, but we think it was just uh, too deep. So Kayla will come back with a uh, bucket. And then the next one, the last one, uh, we found the nest as well, uh, no turtles, um, but we did have three undeveloped eggs. So um, there was two with um, just like the yolk inside and then one with basically almost a fully developed um, turtle. Like the turtle was developed but it still had like the egg sac um, attached to it. Um, yeah and we counted 50 something eggs. So that was exciting. So after the excavation I basically uh, just sat on the beach at four at uh, mark four um, and then because um, that's where we decided that we're gonna release the turtle so once the sun set um, Karina came out with honey and some locals and we let the turtles go uh, it was so magical because like the sun was setting and the turtles were free to be released uh, I absolutely um, loved it uh, it was yeah so it was a great day um, for turtles. So I got to see the turtle in the morning and then I got to see the baby turtles uh, being released back into the wild. So what a crazy, fun, interesting day for day three.